Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here as a Toyota Supra special. I am personally a fan of the newer Supra over the older one. I know that may be controversial, but I'm a big fan of the GR Supra. So I want to do a video on that because that's my favorite car to drive in the game. But I feel like we couldn't look at the new Supra without looking at the old ones. So we're going to review all four Supras that I own. And we're going to test them all. And then we're going to take them to Daytona. And see which car does the best. So first is the Supra RZ from 1997. Uh, this here has 320 horsepower. Now I haven't changed anything about this car. This is just the car default the way it is besides putting on soft racing tires that's the only change that i've made to it uh, the reason for that is we did a lot of testing of different cars and a lot of them have racing soft tires but some of the cars that are like this one wouldn't it would just be street tires and i feel like that wasn't necessarily a fair comparison we had the ferrari 458 a few episodes ago uh, and also the Mercedes McLaren SLR also a few episodes ago uh, and they were just both kind of trash around the track because well they had street tires and I'm trying them on a race track now this car uh, is an older car and I don't expect it to perform as well um, around this track I just kind of want to see how it does for a lap or two and we'll take it to Daytona when we go there. But, I mean, it looks cool. It's definitely a classic, um, all-time iconic car. Looks cool. Um, and I think on the, the street, this would be absolutely brilliant. I think when you take it here to a racetrack, unless it's in a specific class with cars just like it, it's not going to kill it. I expect this to be... Uh, towards the bottom of our lap time sheet with the uh, Subaru BRZ STI that we tested. I expect this to be in a similar spot on the lap time board to that when we get to Daytona Road Course. Alright, so let's, you know, let's switch from that car. That one's good. Felt good. Don't think it's going to be uh, that impressive. It's a little bit faster than the BRZ. STI Sport, as you would expect. Um, but sticking with the older cars first. This is the Toyota Supra GT500 1997. So, it's kind of like the one we just drove. Very similar. Um, the other one is 1997. But this is the race car version. And oh boy. Is this one fun? This is one of my favorite cars to also drive from the series, uh, the series, the class of GR3 cars. It performs pretty well. It's very, very quick. This is my go-to car at Daytona Oval and Monza. So expecting big things from this car at Daytona Road Course. I don't think anything that we're trying today will beat the Hyundai Genesis, or not Hyundai Genesis, just the Genesis X Perlinetta VGT concept. That thing absolutely blitzed the track record that we have on our timing sheet, but I took this car to do decent. Interior wise, again, looks like it's set up for a race car. kind of weird to be on this side of the car whenever I hop into the Supras and I'm driving this side. It's very strange. This doesn't feel like the side that you drive the car on. But it is, I guess. So the way this thing takes the track, the way it's flying around here, it just races so well. It's such a well set up race car again very very fun it brakes super nice doesn't turn as well as the newer Supra but 
it does drive pretty good. So, let's hop in now to the newer Supras. Of course, we're going to take a look first at the GR4 version of the Supra. And this is going to be the... Oh, I heard to give you the stats. This is 788 horsepower. So it's a little bit more than the uh, Super RS. Or RZ, I should say. Uh, so we're going to go to the Supra race car now. 539 horsepower. This is a GR4 car. So I expect it to be a little bit slower. I don't think it will handle as nicely. I and mean, I have driven the GR4 car. So as you can see, I've done uh, 339 miles of it. We raised us a decent amount in racing champions. And um, it was good. It wasn't anything special. I mean, I didn't really seek out the GR4 class. It didn't really do too much for me. Um, I'd rather race the GR3 class than anything. This car doesn't really turn as well as the race car version, or the, the more race car version. This is very much uh, closer to a street version with some more horsepower. Um, I mean, you even look inside, it looks pretty much like a Supra wood inside. So, this is very much the Supra with a rear wing on it and some more horsepower. So, again, it's not as cool as the other one that we're about to drive, but, I mean, I like it. Wouldn't mind driving a real one. I hit the grass there, that's not good. But yeah, you can see there, it wants to push up off the corner uh, way more than we had with the previous car that we just drove. So, across the line, let's see how it does. We're kind of getting our own scoreboard going at this track. Um, I wanted to drive, like, uh, Fuji or Suzuka, but I felt like for the episode, it would just be a little bit long to do those tracks. So that's why we're here at the high speed ring. This here, the GR Super Racing Concept. 778 horsepower. Let's see how it does around the track. This is the one most comfortable with, most used to driving, and you guys have probably seen the most of on the channel. Whether you watched us race in this game, or you've seen live streams, or even just the shorts, this is a car. When it comes to Gran Turismo, you see this car with this scheme a good amount of the time. Uh, actually, if you see, we did a livery design for this car as well, so you missed that. Make sure you go see that. But yeah, right away, this just feels natural. Feels good. Uh, as you can see, the amount of distance I've driven it down there, 3,000 miles. Should be more than the other cars. The first Supra we had on here was from the used car, so it kind of had distance already on it, but that was the first time I ever drove it. Car wants to slide a little bit there. You can hear it. It's trying to get through that corner, slide through. We're going to hit this curve lovely. Let's see if we can put it up next to the wall like we're supposed to. I hit the wall. I got in there a little too hot. That's unfortunate. You can ride right along that white line. You will absolutely cruise around that bit of the track it's not gonna beat the time of the older supra as a second slower but i think getting caught on the wall probably had something to do with that so let's see if we can try and beat that time now this car already has a time on the board at daytona we will still put it around and see if we can beat the time that it currently has. But it does have a time there. I don't remember how it got there. Uh, so we'll be adding three new cars to the board. And once again, it will do a lap with this car. But we'll see if it actually sets a new record for itself or not. 
around the track. So, let's see if I can get into this corner properly. Slow it down before entering up high. That's where I want to be is along that white line the whole way through. Definitely helped at this track. I absolutely dominated this one in racing champions against Juan. I was able to get right up against the wall and um, beat him in that one pretty well. But here we go. Let's see what we got. This should have been the fastest time, and it was. So let's go to Daytona Road Course. And let's see what these four Supras can do. All right, here we are, Daytona. Looking at the leaderboard right now. The Toyota GR Super Racing Concept, which is the car we're currently in. Instead of 145 previously when I tried this track. Uh, I must have done just a test lap or two with it before. So we'll see if it sets another lap better. It's not the car I wanted. Um... So we're going to go in order that we did our video here. So we're going to start with the Super RZ. Let's see how it does. By the looks of how it raced around uh, the high speed ring, where we did do our BRZ episode, it did have a faster time than the BRZ. Again, this has a... It's got more horsepower than the BRZ does, so... I wouldn't, like, I'm not surprised that it beat it. Um, yeah, that's also an all-wheel, no, it's not all-wheel drive, never mind. It's a super it's all-wheel drive, not the BRZ. That doesn't matter. But, again, this car does have more power than the BRZ. It's a, it's a little bit next level up in car performance. So, yeah, you'd expect that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, so you'd expect that car to be... A little bit slower than this one. Felt like this car wanted to spin or crash or whatever, and it's definitely interesting around here. We'll say that. That's the word we'll use is interesting. Get that curve. Lovely. How is it going to perform through this bit? Not bad. Again, this is not the car that's going to be setting the fastest lap around Daytona. Let's put it that way. This one will not be putting our fastest lap time on the board. Uh, because we are already at 110. The fastest time is at 132. And... Yeah. So here we go, up to the back straight chicane. Oh, we're going to make it through here, barely. There you go, that's the fastest time right there. So we still got to get all the way through the banked turn three and four of Daytona Oval into the tri-oval. So we still got some ways to go. Come on, little car. You could do it can do it come on we're gonna hit two minutes 202.931 where does that put this car on our sheet it, it's not gonna be quick let's put it that way it beat the brz but that was it. It was close to the Mercedes McLaren SLR and the Ferrari 458. But yeah, not, not close to the top. All right, next car, we're going to do the Supra GT500 from 1997. I expect this car to be top seven. Top six, something like that. Oh my god, the speed in this compared to driving the last car. It just feels so much quicker. I mean, obviously it is, but everything's moving so much faster. 
Make sure we get it slowed down in time. Beautiful, get close to those tires. Don't hit them though. I've been known to do that throughout this track. Close to that wall. This will be the 15th lap time on our board. 15th car we've sent around Daytona road course here. Or it's the 14th in the video. Or this four video. I think a few of the other ones we hadn't thought of the idea to get a lap time around Daytona, but now we do have cars setting lap times around Daytona. Oh, I looked at the front of the car for too long. That really messed up my entry to the corner there. But we're good. All right, 105, definitely faster than the other car. There's like a 115 at that point. Again, getting through this back straight chicane, always a little bit difficult with this car. Again, I'm expecting probably like a 140 something here. Again, the super racing concept at a 145 in a test around this track, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is close to a 145. Right now we're coming to the line, 140, 41, 42, 43.316, that should put it top five. I'd imagine we're going to be top five, let's see, it is sixth, just behind the Mercedes AMG GT from 2020. Again, 15 cars around the track. We're going to see if the Toyota GR Super Racing concept can go faster. I would be surprised this car wasn't maybe, again, pushing for fifth. But first, we have one more car to see before we get to that. And that is the Supra race car, GR Super race car, GR4 car. Expecting this to be fringe as the top 10 maybe. Don't think it's gonna be faster than that. There's a lot of quick cars on the board. Uh, this car is just now hitting 170. The GT500 was at about almost 200 here at the line. So, this car's slower and handles worse. This is our first GR4 car we've ever tested in an episode, and the first one we're going to bring, of course, to put a lap time on the board here at Daytona. Into the infield back straight, I guess we'll call it. Again, that's a tricky turn. It doesn't look tricky, but it definitely is. On the brakes. Here we go. One more little straight. And then we're back onto the Daytona Oval portion of the track. I think Daytona's a good track overall here to really try out these cars. I mean, I love Daytona Road Course, so any chance I have to drive it, I'll take it. But again, we have a good test of the cars. We got two heavy braking zones, one right here in the back stretch chicane, and one after the tri-oval bit uh, before you go into the infield portion. Of course, you have the infield bit, so you get a lot of turns. And then you get two high-speed sections, again, basically from the bus stop chicane area to turn one into the road course, the infield road course, and then out of the infield section, back up onto the back, to the back street chicane. Gives you two areas to really see how fast the car is, as well as seeing how the car can perform through some of the more technical turns. 
151 here for this Supra. Let's see where that puts it. It's not in the top 10. Okay. Thought it might be. It's going to be 11th. 50, 151. So that puts it between the Porsche 911 GT3 RS and the Corvette Stingray C8. So the final car, again, already on the board here, the Toyota GR Super Racing Concept. But that was not done in a video. That was done just me messing around. So now, I have a chance to correct that and get the car's lap time from an episode. You can get a beat of 145. 145 is the time to beat. This car is currently sitting eighth on the leaderboard. Where will it end up now? The only car that currently has a time on the board that will be going around the track probably ever. Just because, again, that was done off camera before I even was doing car review series. Not bad through that bit of the track, but could have been a little bit better. Uh, the Mercedes is the car that I typically use when I'm racing Daytona Road Course uh, compared to the Supra. I feel this is a little bit better through the turns than the Mercedes AMG GT, whatever it is, the 2020 uh, GR3 car. I feel that this definitely does better in the infield bit because it just handles the corners nicer. But that car is faster in a straight line. So that's the that's the time where I'm like, which car do I use? And I feel like Daytona has a decent amount of straight line bits that I can kind of recover from struggling the corners. Uh, so that's my go-to car here. We got 45 seconds to get around this track and beat that lap time. I think it's doable. 107 was about what the GT500 Supra was. At. So this definitely has a chance to move up the board. And again, the only car ever with a chance to move up the lap time boards. Here we go through the banked three and four of the Daytona Oval. Looking good here. Can we get back in time? Set a new time for the Supra. We will. It's 143 now. 144.384. It's a new fastest time for the Supra. But it wasn't much better. I don't think there was much I could have done, to be honest with you, to make that go faster around the track. Uh, so looking at the ranking board, this car actually now has two lap times. Thought it would just delete one, but we have two lap times from that car. Interesting to see that that's how the game opted to sort it out. Did not expect it to do that. I thought it would just delete one instead of placing two times on the board. So I'm glad we only do one lap with each car then, because that would be obnoxious. So it's the 8th and ninth fastest time around the track. A little bit slower than the Super GT500, which again, that does prove the point that I was making about this track. Uh, I mean, by looking at the cars on it. Oh uh, yeah, this is the one that I use in racing Daytona right there, the Mercedes-AMG GT3. So, again, instead of proving the point with these cars, though, that are fast around the track, they're very quick in a straight line. May struggle a little bit in the corners. These here, better at cornering. I feel like some of these cars are. But it's a lot of straight lines. And again, sweeping banked turns that you don't need the most handling for. Either way, that is our Supra video. So the fastest Supra on the track is the Toyota Supra GT500. Not surprised by it. That is my go-to car for the Daytona Oval. So the fact that it's the fastest on the Daytona road course, not really shocking. And of course, the slowest one, the Toyota Super RZ. Again, not surprising with that either. But either way, 
Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next one.